Felicia. Some of you guys might know me as a friend of Felicia Matikanda from Dilo Longdil and as of today I am the new minister what you think is because I went on the show, I played and I came back with Dutirani. As unfortunate as that is, I am still a huge and firm believer in destiny and in things happening the way they were supposed to happen and the things happening for a reason. So I guess I do not come back with Imali for a reason. I am choosing to believe that. But yeah, today we are here to speak about my experience on the show and especially on that day. But before we get to that, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Thicker Side of Life. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, especially if you enjoy my content. Please engage with it. Anyway, today I'm going to be speaking about like my experience um, on the day, why I did the decisions that I took why i did some of the things that i did and like the aftermath like my feelings and the aftermath of everything so i am actually wearing the dress that i was wearing on that day i'm wearing the dress that i was wearing when i shot the episode because i felt like maybe um if by wearing because i haven't seen this dress i haven't worn this dress like since the episode was i was shot because it was triggering so i kind of avoided it and it's also my sister's dress so like it was not in my wardrobe so i could actually avoid it but i was like man I want to make this video um, and reflect on like the day and I thought like maybe being in this dress would help me like reflect and help me actually go back to that specific moment in time and just like tell you guys everything that I remember and everything. So yeah, I made a list of a few things that I want to speak about um, because I tend to ramble a lot so I was like okay if I put things down on paper then I won't ramble as much. So we are going to be talking about when I got called out. But before we go to we get to that, I'm gonna think about like a few things that happened before I got called out. So the day before my episode, the day before I actually played, I remember I was here and we were eating dinner and my sister was like, Hey Kanda, what if every time you choose the wrong box, your mom will be in your ear acting high on me, not to leave. Like every time I chose the wrong box, then her spirit would essentially come and would be like, uh uh, my dear, not that box. And I remember we laughed about it and I was like, okay, let that not happen because we cannot have in people's spirits coming to me in the middle of shooting an episode for live television. But then we laughed about it. But I felt and now looking back, I feel like that was sign number one, but now I should prepare myself because I am about to play. Anyway, the day of the episode playing, this dress got chosen for me. Okay, you're going to wear this dress. It's a nice color. But there was stress about the, the length. The lady kept repeating, but now, if you get chosen and then you're not going to be able to sit down. So I remember if she should be like, would you be comfortable with standing? Like if you get chosen, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I don't have a problem with standing. It's okay. But I kept asking her, why are we stressing about the length? Because I'm not going to get chosen. Because I firmly and genuinely believe, didn't believe that I was going to get chosen that day. And I remember telling her, but no man, like it's fine. And she's like, okay, can you try like wearing jeans and uh, so that like if you get chosen, then you have to sit down. It's not going to be too revealing because get yeah, it is PG-13 and all of that stuff. It's a family show so i tried on the jeans but the jeans were not working because the dress is quite tight so it didn't look right then she was like, okay um please wear the dress but please like be mindful like try to emo, emo, emo. and i kept asking yeah why are we why are we stressing about length? i don't i'm not gonna get chosen anyway um just before the episode is i remember i went to the bathroom and then something said don't be pray i couldn't i prayed but i felt like i couldn't pray in that moment so I just prayed for strength and then I rambled because I just like when this overwhelming feeling that says you must pray but you don't know what you must pray for so I felt that and then one of the things that I like actually battled with throughout the like the show like while we were like um shooting the episodes was that I wanted to pick all the special numbers like the special my special number my birthday my birthday month my mom's birthday like my sibling's birthday my like like those special dates so I wanted to, to pick them and take those out um first but I also like on the other side I also struggled with the fact that what if because these numbers are so special to me big money is in there because they are on the special number but then on the, on the flip side I was also like what if because it's 
big it's my special numbers maybe the small money will be in this but i can actually end up winning big so i was kind of like always like battling with that but i remember after i prayed i i, I left with the decision that okay i am actually going to take out all the this the the special numbers and they're gonna come out with small with, with like with the small money they're gonna take out small money sharp i go we play i remember I, we went into the studio and then because there was there was a lady like who was in my room she used to like sit down like in the in, in between like um the like when it's i break for you guys she would like sit down like in those moments and then she saw she had like a cherry and i remember telling her about girl the moment you get chosen and you leave i am stealing your chair and i'm gonna use it and then i was like demonstrating for okay i'm gonna stay that is not what i'm gonna sit and then i sat down and then my dress became wrinkly and then immediately after i got up okay they were doing like wardrobe check and they were like okay girl go back to wardrobe ask them to i look like again and i remember being so confused because i was like um what's about your box it is on my app and no one is gonna see when uh, this dress is wrinkly but i was like okay let's go let's go do it sharp okay but i look at him and i remember asking that lady again am i getting chosen because another another sign another sign of my makeup yeah it, usually they did my makeup like sure they had they have like great makeup artists but in Galami, they contoured i remember leaving like the makeup and feeling like i'm gonna learn how to do makeup so that i can recreate this look because yay you contour yeah you contour like but like okay i get chosen and that was like the shock of my life I was I was genuinely guys like I will repeat this I was genuinely not expecting to get called that day I did not think it was my turn I did not feel like I was ready I don't know how, how I was gonna how I was gonna know that I'm ready I don't know what I was waiting for but I genuinely did not believe that it was my it was my turn shall I get called and for like a good few seconds I'm stuck there and I'm frozen and I don't know what to do and then I woke up okay and then I remember because remember the, the dress is short I remember I woke in there and then as I was about to sit down, I was like, oh, no, you, you, you cannot sit down. You must stand up, my dear. And then I had to stand up for the whole show, but that was fine. We played the same first round. First round went fine. Like, I was happy with the first round. I took out three big numbers, three small numbers. So things were balanced. My first offer came. Great first offer. Like, for first offer, great. I was happy. Sharp. We go to ad break. We come back. We play. I okay. The following rounds, I the problem started when all my special numbers were out of the game and now i have to pick numbers randomly and now i don't have a strategy because that's one another thing now guys i'm the chillest person of the i take things as they come i didn't have a strategy so i was like just like i was like i'm just gonna play i'm just gonna take things as they come i'm just gonna play and then i get big numbers started going i get big numbers started going i remember when we turned into thousand i went out of the game how it went out Pakun number seven. Pakun like tala lam food. Pakun like tala how we like where I was like positioned. Two hundred. Pakun number seven. Pa. And I remember I said to Kat, number seven, the number of perfection. Yavula e box. Yavula e box. Two hundred fifty thousand is in there. And I remember Kat saying, yo, that was a perfect number indeed. That I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I can go cool. And I feel like he in that moment i kind of made the decision okay 250,000 is, is out of the game and a lot of big numbers are out of the game so we're just gonna like and i remember i even asked one of the contestants there and i was like okay what should i do like if you're being war, should i take the deal because i think we delay one point something at that point should i take the deal or should i go she was like i girl i suggest you take the deal and you go but then i was like no man like we've come this far I am gonna play. It was unfortunate that like my my offers are like going down, go, but it's fine. But see, one thing that I will say in those moments, like I saw, okay, the offers are going down, and in my like the big my numbers are going down. But there was a sense of calm that I was feeling. Like I could feel, okay, the pressure is there because in my ear pella and the offers are going down. But I don't remember panicking. I remember there were moments I was like, okay, I'm a bit shaken. But he generally, like overall, there was like just like sense of calm that I felt like in that moment. I get pretty many times. And then another thing that I remember, um, I spelled out like there's something I do in exams when I don't know him multiple choice. I have two names and a surname. I still regret this. This was the only thing that I regret about that day. I spelled out my name and my first name, and then it landed on a box. But in an exam, when I do this, I usually spell out my name, my second name and my surname 
and when i replayed it in my head should i have done it like that the game might not have ended up the way it would have maybe it would have because i would have still ended up going all the way and winning the 50 run but in that moment because in the i just stopped at my second name and didn't go like all the way to my to my surname and this is the advice for you guys stick to your like your your exam your exam strategies don't change them in the last moment because i really don't know why i decided to change and not do my surname but okay it happened like that and then we played and then the offer is right 350 and i was like yo at least i will get back in my liam but i was like no um let's just play because there was like it was a moment of but i literally had nothing to lose i had i had everything to gain but i had nothing to lose like coming into this game so it's happening like this maybe this is how it's supposed to be happening let's just play and one of the things that i came onto the show with was i wanted to buy myself a camera because i make content in case you guys didn't know i make content and i wanted to buy myself a camera because i wanted to make like better quality because i had a samsung and samsung yamshin wasn't like the greatest in terms of like um camera camera quality io so i wanted to buy myself like a camera that i can make like better content for you guys because that was like one of my new resolutions that i am sticking by to like actually make content um be consistent in my content continue learning con continuing improving my content because i genuinely love like sharing my life story i genuinely love taking you guys along with me making mistakes with me growing together and all of that so i wanted to invest in my content with a camera and then so i had mentioned that and i remember um i spoke to cat and he was like maybe one of the reasons why i actually am on the show and one of the reasons why i ended up here was not about the money but to get my name out there and to actually like do maybe that's not like the part that i was like i was supposed to the money wise but maybe there are like other reasons as to why i came on social and i said okay i'm holding on to that and I'm, I'm i'm choosing to believe that anyway i'm sure we ended oh guys and everyone was so encouraging like everyone was so encouraging like i remember like after the show like everyone was like encouraging me okay like this is not the end it was a great show and like firstly i shared like my life story and like some of the things that had happened to me so like people are gonna be like encouraging in terms of that and everything ever like one thing about the show is that like, everyone is so warm and i remember i had an interview now after the show and they were like asking me questions still very calm like it's still like very calm like nothing happened and then i remember i told that story and then i took a decision though but okay i am still gonna invest in my in my content i am taking my lovely book allowance i am buying me an iphone because it does have like better quality and then i am investing in my in my content and i was like okay I was given the advice that maybe this was the reason why I was on the show was not about the mantras about everything else and then I was like, okay we are taking that and I'm choosing to believe that and then I ran with it anyways um so I remember after like when I was like on my way home I remember thinking okay um go go like, what are we doing now i am the type of person you know but okay things happen but what are we gonna do about it like let's let's i will deal with the emotion emotional side of everything like later on but what are we gonna do about it like in this moment i remember after the show um i went to change and then i ate and then people were like just encouraging like very comforting man okay like it's okay like it's not the end of the world no 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 said my goodbyes um i took a taxi home i remember on the way home that was so zen and i feel like that is when like everything started like crashing down because now it's quiet now like there's no like noise is no longer there so it's just me and my thoughts no zen i remember i slept all the way the days and then i got off and i was trying to sleep and my mind is spinning my mind is spinning because you playing all the way you should have left one point something because someone didn't say but they'll take the money and go um so like all of those calls like were like okay 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 and i struggled to deal with my emotions like when it comes to clearing through my emotions all of that like it takes me a while to actually like deal with it and i remember like tossing and turning in bed tossing and turning in bed couldn't sleep and then my sisters came home and then my sister hugged me and then i cried i cried i cried i cried and then she was like stressed man okay it's not the end of the world and she was like very encouraging okay um because now it's crazy because we always see like the people like playing on dinner no deal and then we think it ends there 
we don't know like the aftermath of that and she was, she was like pointing that out okay because now i'm her younger sister and i'm going through this so it's like cool it's like crazy that now this is like something that she has like to like deal with with anyway i remember i cried and then i was fine and then i went to bed Taiki. the days after that i got triggered every single time dino Nutil gets mentioned every single time the perfume i was using or like while i was shooting the show i smelt it i got triggered and every so i was like, okay i went because i only followed dino Nutil on facebook so i was like, okay we are also following you on 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 instagram and i'm gonna go to subscribe to your youtube channel because i want to see you everywhere because i was like the only way i can deal with this and actually deal with my emotions is by like not avoiding this and actually by dealing with it like i started applying like perfume and every day trying to like sort through the emotions i tell my friends what happened so that we can laugh about it and then i can actually start moving on and i started planning you know, okay you contained i'm gonna post this on this certain day and then i'm gonna do this a b c d and then you think my dummy book colors and i i bought my i bought my i bought my my phone and i was okay let's work on the content side because it's a gile, it's a gile. there's nothing we can do about it all we can do Google, is actually like see as men's and Google, we are working ahead okay and then I, I feel like i was fine and then last night um actually the night before last night um i was in bed and i was like yo because more who my main the main thing that gives me insight is that like so many people are, are gonna watch the episode and people are gonna have opinions which they are entitled to but i'm struggling with trying to figure out how i'm actually gonna like deal with that because okay bando buzz were tight so there was something that like kept me up at night and then is all i was like yeah, we are turned almost like a because in that guy is, I am that one person, but if there's an opportunity and I feel I can do I can do something, I will go for it. So last night I was like, man, like Zindo and Mrs. Zinga that I always put myself through. Like, is it like really mystery? Why am I like that? And then I woke up this morning, I go onto Facebook, and someone that I go to church with um posted a post that says, um, ships are safest at the harbor, but that's not where they belong. And I was like, maybe that's why, maybe it's because in my heart in my soul in my spirit i know that i'm very comfortable in my comfort zone but that's not where i belong that is not where i'm going to grow and that is not where things are going to start happening for me that's not where the things that i want for myself are going to start happening so let's keep like exiting this comfort zone let's keep like trying things let me keep like pushing myself so that's why i'm also making this video because i shame i'm anxious and from talk and like about you about you the aftermath all of all of this but yeah it's fine it's fine i remember on the show i did say but the f in my name does not stand for failure and i am standing firmly in that because the f in my name does not stand for failure i might not have won the money that i didn't have like a specific number that i was looking for but it was different at 50 rand in all honesty i was not looking for winning 50 rand i did not think i was gonna win 50 randy i thought i was gonna win way more than that but KUF in my name still does not stand for failure so we are here no group, and we're just gonna keep pushing we're just gonna keep pushing and i'm just i'm just gonna continue like putting myself out there until things work out until the part that to talk and yeah, the part that the, the universe wants for me until i find it so i'm just gonna keep pushing and i'm, I'm gonna keep doing what i think i'm supposed to be doing and continue like putting myself out there until like things just like work out so yeah that's like the the everything on the show if you get around yam is a bug okay bank account yam and i am gonna be if you around richer and i'm gonna be the minister so you wanna go go if you around richer and i have a new title so a win is a win a win is a win it doesn't matter the monetary value of that win but a win is a win but yeah guys that was like my experience on deal no deal um i'm gonna post the link of how to apply on the description so that if you guys want to put yourself out there you can do that because okay the world is our oyster guys but yeah thank you for tuning in that was my story of winning if the randy i feel like now that i spoke to you guys i'm more calmer because i feel like if anything i got the like i I, I don't know man something about speaking to the camera i get to sort through my thoughts like more clearly so i do feel like a bit more calmer than i spoke to you guys so i'm going to say but yeah i'm just gonna say continue putting yourself out there walk tall and just do everything that you think is right for you 
and push yourself i'm not saying push yourself over the cliff just like push yourself far enough and just continue trying continue knocking at those doors and maybe one day you will decide by now that specific door is for you and